it means a lot for me this year because my grandpa was a huge, huge hero for me and he, he passed away last year. And he was, um, you know, although he might not say it himself, I'd consider him pretty much a civil rights leader. Um, it was an interesting story how he got to, how he got to Kansas City. So, um, you know, he went to the Navy and after he got out of the Navy, you know, he, he, he went through med school and everything, but um, he had to come to Kansas City because it was, it was one of the very few places at the time that um, you could specialize in a residency program as, a, as an African-American. So that's how he ended up in Kansas City. And then once he got here, he became a man of many firsts. He was the first black, uh, black surgeon on staff at many of the hospitals he works at. He started, he started a couple, I believe one or two, African-American med uh, medical societies in the city. Because he was a doctor, so was, my, so was my dad, so was my uncle, and because they were, he was able to help put my siblings through uh, great educational outlets, and it's the, reason, it's the reason I'm here right now. Because of that, I definitely take all my opportunities given to me as seriously as, as, seriously as I can, because I don't want to waste all the triumphs and tribulations that my grandfather had to go through in order to get me here. Flashback to my childhood a little bit. There's um, my, my club basketball coach um, starting in fifth grade is um, a guy named Juan O'Brien who, who really taught me what it means to work hard. I remember my very first practice. Um, I was a little chubby kid um, playing with some older kids and, and I was run, running so many sprints I ended up puking in the corner. I remember distinctly telling my dad after that practice, you know, this is the best day of my life because, you know, he, the, I knew that I was working with someone special who was going to push me to be the best I could be. And, you know, he's really someone who transformed my perception of work ethic um, and, and, you know, what it takes to succeed at anything in life. My best friend, George, uh, I've known him since kindergarten, and he's just been a really uh, great friend, uh, super positive guy, um, just a, a really bright kid, and uh, he's just really inspired me um, to, you know, just keep being positive. He, he's accomplished so many great things. He's, uh, you know, a student council president, um, great grades. Uh, he's going to Georgetown. He's uh, just an amazing kid, and I'm, I'm so lucky to uh, have had him as a friend for so many years. Even if, you know, he was struggling with something, he never really, he, he did a good job of like, not letting it affect other people. Keeping him in my circle has helped me become a better person and, uh, you know, just try to reflect off him. At first, I didn't really know who or what I wanted to talk about in terms of, of a specific person, but I, I have to say my dad because as a black man, there's usually not a lot of father figures out there for young black men. And I've been blessed enough to have an example, um, have a, somebody that I can look up to every day and know that he is the example I should be looking for. He's my hero. He did the same thing every day. He didn't care, didn't put his head down, he went to work. Whatever he did to support the family, whatever he could do to support me, everything was I'm doing this for something more than myself. And seeing that every day, seeing him just fight through him being a black man and him trying to find himself in his world and instilling that into my brother and myself, I feel like that was game changing for me in my life.